the next following scan option what we will be looking is scan to folder because scan to folder is a feature if the users are scanning more than 10 MB or the, the larger size file it is useful to scan and send it to the respective folder so let's see how to do that select destination folder so in order to do that you'll have to have the quick utility toolbox so let's see how to configure and how to manage it open your browser and type quick utility toolbox and download the quick utility toolbox for windows so just click download then your files get downloaded then extract the file file this is a file so run the setup run as administrator next next since click yes so the installation is begin wait for a couple of seconds to so we have to exclude this option from the firewall next so successfully complete click complete so now we have installed quick utility let's see a quick utility toolbox just click it so you need to add the printer in the print list okay so just click S so the quick utility is searching for a printer so now I could see the, the that the toolbox has identified my printer okay then in under under here you could see the functions printer information so it will give it will directly take you to the web IP page and speed dial settings is important for fax options destination folder that's what we are going to work now and scan again it is a pull scanning so from here you could do uh, your pull scanning from the computer and cloud again it will allow you to get connected with the cloud if you remember uh, this is the cloud services okay so let's go back here destination folder and uh, admin password so this is a printer admin password so just type your default type your password what what you set for the printer okay then this is the folder uh, setting click add and display name what you want to display so I want to see this is test folder and uh, shared folder name in destination normally what happens you should have prior to that you have to uh, have the folder this is my folder I scan 70 so I have this particular information just go back here and uh, input so basically you are trying to give the path but here you should put backward slash slash and this is a format if you do other way around it's going to give you an error right so this is one and domain name and user most probably if your computer has a domain control please use a domain name and user how to find out the domain name it's it's quite easy uh, go to command prompt and just try who am I so this is your domain name this is your username select copy and go here sorry go here and paste it so my domain name my username and my computer password 
so my computer password this is a pin code to open your folder access your folder if you like you can keep it otherwise make it make it uh, remove so I removed it click ok so now I have uh, created a folder so before you save it make sure your connection is working so connection test successful which means your printer your MFP able to communicate with the respective shared folder so click OK and click OK and uh, select it register to printer so that register to the printer so that your uh, created folder will be visible in the printer setting complete click OK now let's move to the in the MFP go to scan and scroll to destination folder this time you could see scan to folder this is the option which we created from the utility box click it and it is communicating with the system where the shared network folder is there so these are the setting I'm gonna share I'm gonna scan and send it this document so I kept in the ADF click color scan click S yes. so it's scanning and uh, saving the scan data in my folder let's see in the computer share folder so locate your folder so now we could see the scanned image is in the shared folder so this is showing that the machine is quite compatible and quite straightforward settings for scan to folder